Hello. Hello, hello. Say hi when you're jumping on, you guys. I am just going to share this really quick. Do, do, do. How's everybody's weekend going? <laughs> Hopefully good. It's kind of dreary. I feel like I look like a ghost today. <laughs> oh. Okay. And there. Okay. All right, we should be good. All right. Hi, Erin, how are you? Hello, hi, Haley. <laughs> okay, you guys, oh my God. I need to put some makeup on because I look like a ghost. I need to tan. I need to get some vitamin D or something. <laughs> oh, this is awful, awful, awful. Okay, anyways. Um, yeah, so I wanted to show you guys because I've had a lot of people ask like, um, what if like, you know, what if I can't buy like all the products or what if I, you know, only want minimal makeup or something like that. So hi Jenny. Um, so I wanted to do a look with like 12 products or less just so that way, um, it's a little bit more attainable and to show you that you don't have to, um, you don't have to have like a full arsenal like I, <laughs> like I have. Um, let's see. Hi, Chris. Hi, Brenda. Thank you so much for hopping on. I'm so happy you're on. Um, hey, Brenna. Okay, so without further ado, let's get some makeup on this ghostly white face. <laughs> um, you guys, I'm going to be using the Stay Matte Foundation today. I only have my little like samples because I, um, I just put my order in, so I don't have my actual um, foundation yet, but the samples are awesome. So if anyone wants to try anything, um, let me know because I am going to be putting in an order so I can order more samples of whatever you're wanting to try. So shoot me a message if you would like to try samples of anything and I can mail you some. Okay, so I am using the VFX um, strobe primer. So this is a little bit more moisturizing. Hi, Amanda. Um, it's a little bit more moisturizing. It's white like a moisturizer. Um, once you spread it out, you probably can't tell in the camera, but it's it's almost got like an iridescent tone to it. So it just kind of gives you a nice glow um, and a nice base for your foundation, okay? Dear Lord, you guys, what ugh, my face today. <laughs> Can you tell I've been lacking sleep? <laughs> oh, goodness. It is so dreary outside. <laughs> oh, hey, Liz. Yeah, thank you so much for hopping on. I'm glad you caught me live, girl. Okay, so just spread that all around the face. Down onto the neck. You guys, I've got a few breakouts. The stress is not uh, calming down at any time, anytime soon here. <laughs> oh, I just need some vitamin D, y'all. I need to get out in the sun. <laughs> Me and my husband were talking yesterday, and we want to book a vacation, like, soon. <laughs> We want to do our first like family vacation with just me, him, and Asher. So we'll see. Uh, see where we end up. <laughs> okay, so like I said, I'm using my samples of the stay mat today. Um, so I I wore the stay mat last night. We had a we went um, and had dinner with a couple of our friends, and I wore the stay mat, and um, it's a new obsession. <laughs> I love the stay mat. You guys, I haven't tried a foundation that I don't like. <laughs> I love the CC cream. I love the VFX. I love the stay mat. So next I'm going to be, I'm ordering the stay mat and, um, the pata cream, I think is how it's said. Um, but it's like a, it's a cream compact and it dries powder. So I'm really interested to try that one. Oh, thank you, Brenda. You are so sweet. Hey, Mary. Thank you so much for, um, watching got a lot of first timers today. That's awesome. Okay. So I'm taking it and I'm just using, I'm going to use my hands to roughly apply it. And then, oh no. Oh, here, hold on guys. Got it. Okay. <laughs> I had to get my blending bud. <laughs> okay. So 
Um, this is shade 03 in the Stay Matte. I spread it on my fingers like this. So the Stay Matte is really, really good for someone that has like oily skin. Oh, you guys look at that coverage. Oh. Oh, I already look better. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello, hello, ladies. Okay, so like I said, roughly applying. I'm like using the last of my uh, sample here today. <laughs> Getting a little bit more on and I'm gonna put it. So the Stay Matte Foundation, it feels thicker when you put it on, but it still dries really lightweight, which is awesome. Cause it's like, I like really full coverage makeup and I like to look like I'm wearing makeup, but I don't like to feel like I have a lot of makeup on. And then I am kind of bringing this down on the neck here. I've been wanting to try the foundation. Um, so what I'm using, yes, it is very full coverage, the Stay Matte. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start pressing this in as I'm talking here. Um, but So I'm just using my blending bud. It is damp. Um, sometimes I use it dry, sometimes I use it damp. But um, So I just press this into the skin. It's very full coverage um, compared to the stick. Um, I'm trying to think. We don't really have anything that I would say would be compared to the stick because... I, if I know what company you're talking about, the stick foundation feels very like thick and, um, oh, how do I say that? Waxy. But, um, this, I, once this like dries and I set it with my transparent, uh, finishing powder, I don't feel like I can hardly feel it on my face, you know? Um, but yeah, like I said, the stay matte is really good if you have oily skin. I don't have very oily skin, but I also don't have dry, so... Um, I just kind of have com combination skin. I'm a little dry in some areas, a little bit oily in others, but, um, but, uh, yeah, so this, I don't know. I liked it. I wore it all night last night and it didn't budge. <laughs> so that was great. <laughs> Let's see. I'm the same way. Yes. <laughs> yes, Cammie. Yeah, for sure. I, I have to like. I don't know. I like to look like I have makeup on. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> My all natural looks is still for to some people like, whoa, she, that that's a that's a lot of makeup. <laughs> I'm like, oh, really? That's my natural look. <laughs> and if you want, like, you can build the coverage with this as well, and it's not gonna get too heavy. I just want to build it in areas where I have, um, like my break my stress breakouts. <laughs> And my dark circles I think we're on um, the downhill side of my son teething now or at least for a little while um, his <laughs> left bottom tooth has come in and now we're just waiting on that right one to pop through um, what's the name of the makeup company um, the, this is pharmacy Donna have, Donna have you heard of pharmacy And then any of the excess, I'm just kind of bringing it onto my eyelid. And like I said, just pressing it in. I'm not like wiping or like smearing it at all. I'm just strictly like pressing it in, okay? But you see like how much better it already looks, <laughs> you guys. Like, look at this. Like, I'm not even afraid to get up close and personal with this stuff. Just pat it all in there and it's going to stay in place. <laughs> Donna, I can shoot you a message after the live if you have any questions or anything. Otherwise, you can shoot me a message too if you have, like, questions already. Um, go ahead and ask and I will get back to you after the live. Brenda, you thought it was a different company. <laughs> yeah, um, I used to be with a different makeup company, but um, I switched mainly because of prices. 
but then once I actually tried the makeup, um, I was like, I completely like bought into pharmacy. It's amazing. It is amazing. And there's less chemicals. So they're not chemical free, but there's, uh, they're European standard makeup and they also have skincare and, um, perfumes, colognes, all that, but I'm getting sidetracked. But, um, so they're European standard products, which means Europe bans 1300 chemicals from their products. And the U S only bans like 11 to 30, depending on the product. So that's a heck of a lot less chemicals that are going on your face. <laughs> okay, you guys, oh, like, look at that. So much better, right? Yeah. So much better. <laughs> okay, um, so that was product number two. So we've only used two things on my on the face so far, okay? Um, I'm, I'm going to be using 11 things total on my face for like a full look. <clears throat> yeah, Brenda, isn't this foundation like, it's amazing, girl. I'll shoot you a message. <laughs> Cami, yeah, girl. Um, let's see, I have dry skin though. Um, if you have dry skin, I would definitely recommend, if you want like a full coverage, I would definitely recommend the VFX. It's bomb for any skin type. <laughs> That was the first foundation that I tried. And then I heard all this great stuff about, um, sorry, I'm messing with my makeup here. Um, then I heard all this great stuff about the CC cream. So then I wanted to try that. That's awesome. I use that like weekly, just if I'm out running errands and I don't want like a heavy makeup look or, or like a full, full makeup look. Um, yeah, I will, uh, I'll use my CC cream and then the stay matte, like I was so in love with it last night. Last night was the first time that I had actually tried the Stay Matte Foundation. I thought it was just for oily skin, but um, like I said, I'm not, I'm not really oily or dry per se. So, but yes, Cami, I can shoot you a message and um, and we can chat about some of the makeup after the after the live here. Okay, so this is the full coverage concealer. I like to get the like the lightest color. Hi Peggy. <clears throat> I like to get the lightest color because I like to highlight with my concealer. So, um, and I like it to look really like light and bright around my eyes. So I do this whole little triangle section here to really brighten my face. And I love how like your face doesn't look like orangey or yellowy, you know, like, I don't know. It's, it doesn't look like, <laughs> like, I don't know, like fake, like orangey cakey makeup. It's just really lightweight. So these are all the areas that I like to highlight right on the Cupid's bow here on the chin. And then I just put like, I have a couple little breakouts here. So I just put a little bit right there. You don't need a whole lot. Um, and then I take my blending butt again, the pointier part here. Hey Lynette, how are you? No problem, Cammy. Okay, so just patting this all in. And it blends like beautifully, you guys. <laughs> okay. See how good that blends? Ah! Ah! <laughs> hi, Bailey, how are you? Hi, girl, hi. <laughs> so um, in the town I live in, they opened up a new little coffee shop. So this guy, like he started his business, like um, there's like a main highway that runs through our town. And he started by having like this little, like, um, I guess it was like, like you would call it a, um, I'm drawing a blank. Like, you know, like the food truck type things. It was like in one of those, like a trailer type thing, um, like a pole behind. And he had it parked up along the highway up there. And so he got people liking his coffee and everything. 
um, and like he got really really popular and then he finally opened up a little spot in our town and I'm thinking we might go try it later just to like get out of the house but we don't really want to go too far because there was like freezing rain earlier today and all that stuff so but um, so yeah <laughs> but yeah so go check out that little coffee shop I'm needing the caffeine today anyways Um, sorry, I just seen, um, same other company as it is pricey. This is not as pricey, dude. It, I just said dude, sorry. <laughs> you can tell I live in a house full of guys, of, uh, males. <laughs> I have a son, my husband, my dog is male. Dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, yeah, but, girl. <laughs> um, no, it's not as pricey at all. It's like half the price. And then when you sign up to be a beauty influencer, you get 50% off of the already lower prices. So I'm talking like I'm spending like Walgreens, Walmart prices on my makeup. <laughs> uh, and it's really good quality. So, I mean, you can't beat it. Oh, Bailey, you had a cold. Oh, I hate being sick. My family, we were all sick like the whole month of December. It sucked. I'm like super crazy right now when we like go anywhere like wiping our like everyone's hands off I'm like wash your hands wash your hands <laughs> uh, yes Lynette pharmacy makeup for the win girl <laughs> okay I'm missing some comments I will go I'll go back tonight and um answer you guys and like I said I'll shoot you other girls messages that we're asking about stuff so just know if I'm missing some of your comments or questions or anything, I'll get back to you. <laughs> okay, so patted the concealer in like you guys. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Give me some hearts if you're liking this. Yeah, if you like the foundation, the coverage. <laughs> Brenda, for sure. <laughs> I will hit you up, girl. <laughs> Um, I say dude all the time. <laughs> Peggy, you say dude too. Good. I'm not the only one. I say that to my friends all the time. I'm like, dude. <laughs> okay. So that was the third product. Moving on to the fourth. This is the transparent finishing powder. I'm starting to get low on it, but I already have my, re my uh, replacement because as soon as I seen the little silver area pop up, I'm like, oh, got to order more. <laughs> Misty, thank you so much. You're so sweet, girl. Okay, so I'm using my fluffy brush here. And I, um, it comes with like these little like things to apply, like apply with. But I don't personally really like the like the little like applicator things. I like to use my brushes. So um, and if anyone wants the link to the brushes I use, I can send you the link too. I got them off Amazon and they've lasted over a year so far. So <laughs> and they're not like falling apart. Um, and then I also use my trusty, uh, animal print brushes from pharmacy. <laughs> Peggy, you're in a house full of males too. <laughs> okay. So get this on the brush here. I've set first anywhere that I put the concealer. That's where I set first, but I set my whole face with this just because I like to make sure that my makeup is not going to move because my son is like. He's a mama's boy, so he's like all over me all the time. And so I like to make sure that my makeup is not gonna like rub off or <laughs> uh, get on him. So set it. <laughs> Can you send me a message? Yes, yes. I will definitely send you a message. Dang, I'm gonna be sending lots of messages, girls. I love sharing this makeup with people. Like the last company I was with, I was a little bit hesitant of sharing it as much. Like I didn't go live as much because like, I guess, I don't know, the prices of everything just kind of scared me because I was always kind of like cringing whenever I had to replace my makeup. So I'm like, oh, it's so expensive. But with this, I'm like, girl, I'll hook you up because it's so cheap. <laughs> Okay, so like I said, I set it in all the areas um, that 
I put the concealer on, but then I just like use the excess and dust it all over the face. Now I was thinking of doing a video, I don't know if I should do it live or if I should do like a pre-recorded one. For those of you that don't know, um, I do have a YouTube channel. So make sure you go and check out my YouTube channel. It's, it's Tori's Beauty Tribe. Um, love a message about me. Ashley, I'll send you a message, girl. Um, yes, but um, yeah, so YouTube channel, sorry. Um, Tori's Beauty Tribe. We're um, really trying to get the subscribers up on that, so make sure you subscribe if you're able to. Um, and check out all of my videos on there. I usually share like my live videos that I do and stuff on there as well. But, um, but yeah, we have a lot of, my hubby does a lot of my um, editing and all of that for my videos. So you have to go check it out. And I'm super excited because tonight, you guys, um, so if any of you have seen that skeleton, like the, the Valentine skeleton look that I did, I made a video of that, of how I did it, like the whole thing step by step. And my hubby just made a video for it. Or like he, he just like did all the editing and everything. So that's going to air tonight. So be sure to check it out because it was a really fun one. <laughs> okay. So, oh, it's so soft. You guys, like after you like set everything with that transparent finishing powder, like it's so soft, <laughs> so soft. Okay. It's like a velvety finish. All right. Anyways, I got off on a rant there. <laughs> okay. Um, now I'm not even going to say do my brows real quick here because I, <laughs> I take forever on my brows. My brows is what takes the longest. Mm. No girl. Um, Cammie, the, this finishing powder, I really like, um, I really like this finishing powder because it's a press powder. I don't like loose setting powder. I don't know why it's just personal preference, but I don't personally like a loose setting powder. I feel like it's messy. It gets everywhere. Like I feel like I either don't get enough or I get way too much, but with this, um, it's a little bit more controlled and on where I put it and it's not cakey at all. Like it's super lightweight. Everything is super lightweight. What do you recommend for the fine lines around the eyes? Yes, Carly. Um, if you have fine lines, um, you want to make sure your concealer isn't too light because that's just going to make make that stand out even more. So you want to make sure that, that your concealer is more like closer to your foundation color as opposed to like super light. Um, and I would keep it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't set with too much powder. You can lightly hit it with a brush, but um, I wouldn't set too much with powder because powder um, kind of accentuates lines and everything too. So just be careful with that. Um, but definitely get the, um, which, let, let me see, which, uh, BFX. Um, okay. Have you tried this one? The, the strobe primer, Carly? Um, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and keep moving, but try the strobe primer. It's a lot more moisturizing. Okay. Okay. All right. So. For my eyebrows, I am really, really digging my pharmacy um, angled flat brush here. Yes, no problem, Carly. I hope that helps, girl. Hey, Sadie. Hi, Katie. Hello, hello. Um, let's see. Hey, girl. I'm new and really good. Katie, yes, send me a message, girl, or I'll message you after um, after the video and I can talk you through some stuff. Carly, you have oily skin. Yeah, try the Stay Matte, girl. You will love it. Love it. <laughs> I'm good, Sadie. How are you? I need a little bit more caffeine in my life, but I'm good. And some sunshine. <laughs> Brenda, oh, thank you. I wish these were my real lashes, girl. These are uh, some fake lashes. <laughs> I'm really considering trying the magnetic lashes, you guys. What do you think? Has anyone tried them? Reviews, thoughts? <laughs> 
Okay, so what I'm using now is the brow pomade, and this is in the lightest color. It's it's either light or it says blonde, but I think on the website it's called light. So, um, but yeah, I really, really love the brow pomade. It's amazing. And it dries in place, so you don't have to worry about like, because I have like these puny little brows, and I like to like draw mine on a little bit more accentuated and actually get like a nice full shape. And um, so the product I used before was like a wax and a powder and I loved the look of it, but I could, felt like I couldn't touch it because it would like smear or put a line. And I'm like, oh, well, yeah, that looks bad. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so um, definitely try the brow pomade if you have not. <laughs> it's amazing. I have to like scrub it off at the end of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Sadie, you could use some caffeine too. Okay, so I just get this on the brush here and then I kind of wipe the sides off. All right, and then I will start underneath here. If I trail off and I don't talk much during this part, it's because I'm in like deep concentration. <laughs> so I extend it out past where my actual brow is. I used to use like the medium color pomade, but um, I don't know, I just felt like lightening it up and um, having my eyebrows have a little bit of a softer look just because I do draw them on so accentuated. Okay, <laughs> get that line off there. <laughs> Okay, and then I move over and I actually will do the underneath line on the other brow. I try to work back and forth when I do my brows so that I can try to keep them as like similar as possible. Okay, so there's the underneath line. Good luck, right? <laughs> You guys just let me know if you have questions. So this is, let's see, one, two, three, four. This is the fifth product I'm using, okay? I'm just counting them out because I wanna, I wanna show you guys that you don't have to use like 20 products to get like, <laughs> you know, the like that flawless look. Carly, you're so sweet, <laughs> thank you. Okay, so then the top line here, I don't start it in as far as I do the bottom line. I don't really, I try to make it a little bit airier in the front of the brow. So any of you ladies watching um, today, have you seen my head candy live that I did, let's see, Super Bowl Sunday? Last Sunday, right? <laughs> that was last Sunday. <laughs> um, my two little like double bun thing that I did, did anyone see that? Okay, so there's the outline of it, okay? So my little tiny brow is like in the middle of that like outline that I did, okay? Thank you, Sadie, you caught the live. see okay I'm missing some messages oh you showed how you did your yes Carly I did show how I did my hair um check out go a little bit farther back on my business page um yeah you guys if you're on my regular page um make sure whatever corner it's in click the like button make sure you like and follow my page and then set your um notifications so that you get a, get notified when I'm live okay um Aw, oh, Sadie, you're so sweet, girl.
Oh, somehow I was on your timeline. That's awesome. <laughs> Brenda, well, I'm so happy you're on. Okay, I know I had a comment here about, I'm afraid of drawing my eyebrows on. Misty, yeah, it's it's a little scary drawing your brows on. You, um, I've definitely went through some really like scary stages. <laughs> Or I'm like, I look back on pictures, I'm like, good God, why didn't someone tell me I looked <laughs> crazy? <laughs> but you know what? I wouldn't have listened to him anyways. Because, you know, you're all, I'm always right. <laughs> Liz, that's how you started following me? Well, thank you, girl. Perfect, Carly. Yeah, you guys, so I did like a little like Dutch braid uh today i'll show you here did a dutch braid and then i like pulled it out and kind of like um oh i think you i think it's called like pancaking it so you like pull it out and stretch it out but um yeah so can you look at my comment before this one okay let's see let me see if i can see this one sorry guys one second the only thing i seem to not like about Yes. Yes, Katie. Um, so yeah, I feel like the eyeshadow is a little bit more minimal with pharmacy, but I'm not like super adventurous with my eyeshadow. So I don't really mind because I usually stick to some natural, more natural colors. But yes, um, hopefully they will be coming out with some new ones soon. But Katie, check out um, the pigments. Have you seen the pigments? Those are really pretty and you can use those on your eyes, your lips, your nails, like it's crazy. They're super, super shimmery. And they have some like brighter colors in those if you're like into more of like the bright colors. Okay, so then I am filling in with the pomade here. And I only do nudes and natural. Yeah. yeah, Katie, for for a lot of like the nudes and natural color shadows, they do have quite a few for those. Um, like the eyeshadow trios. I know Vice Brown is one of my like go-tos. The Ultimate Smoky is really good. Um, I think I have Vintage Season as well for the eyeshadow trios. And then you can even get super creative and use like I use like my um, my eyebrow powder I use that as an eyeshadow it's like a darker brown um, I even use like this is my three-in-one palette which I will use um, and I even will use like the contour color for an eyeshadow you can even use blush like if you like like pink more like pinky tones use a blush for eyeshadow <laughs> there's no rules you know so I've been playing around a lot. Um, and then even like highlight powders, like for like my eyelid and stuff, I even will use like my highlight powder. So I've been trying to get a little bit more adventurous and use diff like other products for different things. Hi Pam, how are you? So you guys can see okay so then when I'm in when I'm working in the front of my brow I try to be a little bit like lighter handed like I press pretty hard when I'm like doing the rest of the brow but um, I try to be work a little bit lighter handed in the front And then if there's any like harsh edges, like I'll just kind of like wipe at it with my finger a little bit. Katie, yeah, girl, try, tr yeah, try working with some other products. Um, I, as, I don't know if you've actually tried the pharmacy, but um, yeah, try working with other products and that it gives you a lot more options. So 
So like I said, you guys, my eyebrows, like that's what takes me the longest with my makeup. <laughs> Cause I'm like OCD about my brows. Okay, so then, sorry, disappear for a second. You guys, this is my coffee bar area, my sanctuary in the morning. <laughs> okay, so this is the brow powder that I use, and this is, um, this is the light brown, O2. Thank you, Cammy. <laughs> yeah, the type of, I mean, the brows that, that I like to do on myself, it's not for everybody, and I know that, and it's totally okay. If you're not into, like, the full-on, like, dramatic brow, that's okay. So I'm using the brow powder just to fill in in a few areas that I like to darken. And I'm just barely like tapping it. You don't need much of this. my brush <laughs> so I definitely like to use the brow powder especially in like the like the arch part and the the tail of my brow because like I said, the, um, the pomade will, um, sorry, I'm getting distracted here. I'm trying to focus. <laughs> um, the pomade will dry, but, um, this is just to add a little bit more color in a few areas. Okay, so that way you can see like the front of my brow is lighter because naturally um, brows are lighter and they have less hair in the front. Katie, are you really wanting to learn, girl? Well, well, if you're wanting to join and hop on the pharmacy train, let me know, girl, because I'm building my team and I've already got lots of girls um, that have signed up under me and I'm starting like a group page for like, you know, to help teach like um like what good posts are for people to learn about the makeup and everything so just let me know um okay so i'm taking this brush right here and i use like the bristly part here and i like to just like kind of go over this so that it looks nice and like flawless any like uneven areas that kind of helps like smooth out. Katie, you've been watching a lot of YouTube videos. Girl, go check out my YouTube channel. It's Tori's Beauty Tribe. I've got a lot of videos on there. I have like, um, like, vlogging type like lifestyle videos but I also have like makeup and hair stuff on there too okay all right I'm gonna have to just stop because I could tweak my eyebrows all day you guys <laughs> Okay, so there we go. There's brows. Okay, so now what I am going to do, sorry. Thank you, Pam. 
Okay. Okay, sorry guys. All right. So I am going to grab my fluffy brush here. And I'm gonna start with, like I said, so this is the three-in-one face palette. You guys invest in this. <laughs> it's amazing. You have your contour color, a highlight powder, and a blush, and it's super pretty. And like I said, you can even use like any of these for eyeshadow or anything. So get creative. Yes! Oh my God, Brenda. <laughs> I've said that in several of my other videos before about eyebrows. <laughs> they're sisters. They're not twins. Yes. Um, I got told that in hair school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, so I am taking the contour color with my fluffy brush here, tap off any excess, and then I just work like back and forth right in this little crease here. So I'm not doing anything too intricate with my eyeshadow today. So I'm gonna use my contour color and my eyebrow powder that I used. Um, I'm gonna use that for eyeshadow. Brenda, you went to hair school too? Girl, <laughs> that's awesome. I have a little, there we go. Still working with my contour color on the three in one palette. Okay, so see how it just adds a little bit of depth to the eyes? And then, and then I'm gonna grab my brow powder again, and that's gonna be my darkest color that I use, and I'm still gonna use this brush here. So first I kinda dab it like where I want it to be the darkest, and then I work back and forth to blend it. anyone have anything fun going on today and then I just kind of try to work it up a little bit to just kind of blow out the look Katie yes I have girls from all over and the girl I actually signed up under I'm in Illinois and um, the girl I signed up under is in California <laughs> so you don't have to be um, in the same state or anything because mainly everything that we do is online So just kind of working this into the crease. Okay, then, what I like to do, I use my highlighter powder here and I actually just take my, like my ring finger and I will go in along my brow bone. So see how much that like softens that line and that was just with like highlighter powder. So it just really softens it to add that on there. And then I will even take a little bit 
and put onto like the middle of my eyelid. And I'm just using my fingertip. And then I also will work it into like the corner of my eye here. So see how much that just kind of like brightens up the inner corner of your eye. Brenda, you're cleaning house. Girl, I need to. <laughs> I definitely need to. I'm like in the mood to do some like early spring cleaning. Okay, so there is a vet. And then I just take, um, this is like a fluffy kind of angled brush, but I just will take that and kind of like go in the crease there just to blend everything out. And it just softens it a little bit. And I didn't put any product or anything on it. I just wanted to kind of blow out the look and soften. Okay, so then I will take my Express eyeliner here. This is in black. Carly, you're waiting for your pharmacy to order. Yeah, I know. I'm never patient about that. I'm like, <laughs> I'll order it in the next day. I'm like, why isn't it here yet? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I am just ever so lightly... working the eyeliner onto my lash line. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy with my liner today, no wings or anything like that. Okay. I'm like making sound effects here, you guys. Okay. Well, there we go. <laughs> and then I'm gonna grab my Extreme Curl Mascara. This is my new favorite, you guys. Extreme Curl. Get yourself some. <laughs> So I thought the 3D mascara was my favorite. I had Star Look and 3D, and both of them I really like, but I thought 3D was my favorite, and Extreme Curl is my new favorite. <laughs> Carly, I know, yeah. It really only does take like a week, I know, it's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, the last company I was with, um, it took like, I swear it was like two weeks before you got your products. <laughs> I was, it was so frustrating. <laughs> Cause it's like you would probably most likely run out of whatever you were low on before it actually got to you. So I am so, so happy that pharmacy, um, it only takes like a week to get your, your products. Okay, so like I said, I do have false lashes on, but I'm blending my lashes with the false lashes. And I honestly just love like the look that the Extreme Curl Mascara even gives the fit, like the false lashes. It just like almost makes them look a little bit more like natural, kind of. <laughs>
I can hear my little guy messing with the door down there. <laughs> my husband has him downstairs. Do you have a website? Katie, no, um, no website fees, no website fees, no monthly fees. Um, so when you sign up with pharmacy, like depending on if you want to actually work the business side of it, or if you want to, um, just sign up for the discount, once you sign up, you, it's only $19.99 to sign up y'all $19.99. <laughs> what? <laughs> and that's the, that little box right there. That is the welcome box you get. And it has like catalogs and samples and stuff. My YouTube channel has, um, a video of me going through the contents of the welcome box. So go check that out if you're curious. And, um, and let's see so then yeah no website fees anything like that brenda yeah girl i know <laughs> um yes so um where was i going with that oh yeah um yeah no website fees or anything so when once you sign up you want to keep your discount activated um yeah i love that i want to Yes, girl, Katie, I will send you a message. I'll get you hooked up, girl. But yeah, so you only have to make a purchase of $2 or more within six months to keep your discount. Let that sink in. <laughs> to get 50% off of awesome quality makeup. I haven't came across something that I didn't like. So just saying, let that sink in, girls. <laughs> Brenda, I know. Doesn't that seem like too good to be true? I'm I'm still waiting for the ball to drop and be like, ah, we got you. But like, seriously, <laughs> I don't even I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm in love with everything. <laughs> the company, the makeup, the skincare too. Oh my god. Like, go check out. I can't believe it. I know, seriously. $19.99 to sign up. <laughs> And then like right, like, you don't even have to wait for your starter box to come. One, like the instant you sign up for, um, for like the $19.99, the instant you sign up, um, you get half off everything instantly. You'll, once you log into your website, you'll see everything is half off immediately. Okay, so I am just dusting this on my bottom lashes. I did not put any liner on my on the bottom yet. I usually only like to put eyeliner like on my waterline. Yes, Carly, Carly, I have not got to try the rose, um, the rose water or any of the rose line yet. I use the aloe line and I use the eye cream and the serum from the Age Reversus line. My dark circles have like, the, I mean, yeah, I was really tired today, but my dark circles have lightened so much using the eye cream. It's amazing. So a little tip, um, the Extreme Curl Mascara, the brush is kind of like, like um, in like an arc shape, more to like contour with your eye. But I've found that when I'm doing my, my bottom lashes, I actually turn it so that um, it's like facing out because otherwise I get mascara on like the inner part of my eyes. And I just like barely grab a hold of those hairs and those bottom lashes there and work back and forth. Okay. Carly, you're getting the eye cream. Yeah, girl. <laughs> Katie, I know. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so excited for you ladies. I'm so excited that I have so many newbies to tell about this stuff because you guys, it's amazing. It is amazing. Seriously. Okay. So there's the mascara. I feel like it kind of clumped up a little bit on those two. My eyelashes are being weird over here. Um, okay. So I'm going to take my eyeliner again. And I'm gonna go on my waterline, just like right underneath here up in the corner. I don't know if you can really tell the difference, but.
You seen the new makeup box with the light inside girl. I know I'm like I keep trying to talk myself out of getting it But I think I'm gonna get it <laughs> Like a place to keep all your makeup organized like my bathroom is usually a hot mess with makeup all over the counter <laughs> So I need that case in my life <laughs> Now, I don't know if I want the rose gold or the black I know like the rose gold super pretty, but I'm su like a super traditional like classic black type of person so I don't know what to do <laughs> okay so I am gonna take the black um, waterproof eyeliner and I take it on my waterline you guys my stomach is growling I need to eat lunch okay so see the difference between this eye and this eye it just adds a little bit more drama rose gold I know girl I know I'm a rose like I love rose gold love 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 like my my wedding my wedding ring and band is they're both rose gold <laughs> so I love rose gold so that is what I'm leaning towards and I love that like it has a mirror in it that actually like lights up <laughs> So that'd be like perfect for like in-home parties and stuff, which I really want to get into doing because I'm like collecting a lot of makeup. So I think an in-home party would be awesome. Yeah, you can definitely take it on the go. Yep, that's exactly what I was just going to say, girl. Okay. All right, guys. So then I'm just going to finish off my look with my my three-in-one palette, and then my my lips, and then I'll be done, okay? I know this has probably been a longer live. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> uh, I don't know how long we're going on here, but thank you all for staying, staying with me. Okay, so I'm going to grab. So this is the brush that I used to set with, but um, it's okay. I'm going to be <laughs> done after this anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and use it on the contour color. And I'm gonna put it right here. And you just wanna put that under your cheekbone so that it kind of pops and accentuates your cheekbone. And it'll help just add color to your face, you know? Especially if you're not one that you don't wanna add the color to your face with foundation and look like orangey or like too, you know, too warm or too different, like skin tones or anything, this just helps add color to your face. <laughs> yes, Carly, <laughs> some girl talk. <laughs> okay, so then over here. A little tip that I give people too um for contouring if you're trying to figure out like where to place it like underneath your cheekbones if you make like the fishy face like so, <laughs> so if you do that like you can see the line here I'll show you and you just follow that line all the way back and that's kind of where you want to contour and then I do it in the temple area here Carly, girl, me too. <laughs> me too. House full of boys. Our dog is male. My husband. My, we have a almost 19 month old. <laughs> so see how that just like contours the cert, like certain areas and makes other areas stand out more. So then I put a little bit here. You guys, by the way, this sweater is super cozy, like super cozy. <laughs> I found it. Okay, you guys are not even going to believe this. Um, I found it at Rue 21. Yep. I haven't been in that store for years, years, but I seen they had like $5 racks. I'm like, mm, yeah, I'm going to go look and see if I can find anything. Found this sweater on the $5 rack at Rue, at Rue 21. 
<laughs> I might have to hand wash it and lay it flat to, to dry just so that it doesn't like shrink or snag or anything, but it's so comfy and it's like, it's like hot pink. I love it. <laughs> okay. So under here, And then I just work back and forth on my jawline there. And then a little bit on the sides of the nose. So yeah, we went um, out to eat with another couple that we're friends with last night and we went to this new place in our area. Um, well, it's not super new, new to us because we haven't been there, but, um, and it's like an arcade and they have like bowling alley and all this stuff and it was super fun, but I, I like, I'm seeing all these kids run around and I was kid free and I'm like, I really want my little guy to see all this. <laughs> so it almost made me miss, miss him instead of like enjoying the night out. I'm like, eh, I want my little guy here because, <laughs> oh my God, he would love it. So I think, um, next weekend we're going to take him because I just want him to see it so badly. Who knows, maybe we'll actually bowl. I'm a terrible bowler, but I'll, I'll granny throw it all day. <laughs> My husband will be super embarrassed, but I will totally granny throw that bowling ball. <sighs> okay, so then I just like to take a little bit on the sides of my neck here, just to blend everything. <clears throat> Excuse me, I need to get some water. Okay, what are we thinking? Are we liking it so far, guys? Gals? <laughs> and then I work a little bit right back here as well. Like literally this three in one palette is life, you guys. It is life. And then just a little bit in the temples here just to blend it all together. Oh well, yeah, there we go. We got some color to my face now, thank the Lordy. How we liking it? I actually feel like I'm like looking more like I've got some life, <laughs> got some energy. <laughs> and then you guys, this blush is super pretty. It's gonna like match my sweater really good. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab my big fluffy brush here and use the blush. I put it right. So to find kind of like the apple of your cheek where you do it, you kind of like, I don't know. I'm like making all sorts of weird faces at you guys, but you like, like almost kind of like push your cheeks up and you find like that, like apple part of your cheek. You don't really want to put it like right here. It's more so you want to put like highlighter right here and then your blush right here. Okay. To give you that more like flushed rosy, um, kind of look. <laughs> Same thing over here. Okay. And then, then I am taking my highlight powder and first, I actually take my ring finger again here, um, just because it's very, the, the highlight powder is really, really pigmented. So I, in the areas where I want it concentrated the most, I like, and like where I need it to be a little bit more precise, I like to put it on my finger first. So see how like concentrated that is. And then I will like, like on the tip of my nose here, and then I'll take it and put it on like the bridge of my nose. And then I do it on like my Cupid's bow. Okay. 
Look at how like concentrated that is, you guys. <laughs> I just waxed my lip the other day, so it's like really nice and smooth now. <laughs> it was getting fuzzy, so my makeup was looking like cakey on my upper lip because of the fuzz. Um, if you wanna see my waxing video, go check out my YouTube channel, and I did a video of <laughs> me waxing my face. <laughs> oh, that was just more of kind of a funny one, but hey, I ain't got no shame, girl. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm using my smaller fluffy brush and I'm going in right here with the highlight powder. And then see how like pretty and glowy that looks? And same thing over here. I start right here and then I just kind of work right on top of my cheekbone. And then my chin right here on my forehead just a little bit and then I kind of diffuse the part that I put on my nose with my finger here and Cupid's bow Carly thank you <laughs> so look at how like glowy that makes you look that highlight powder it is life girl Okay. Okay, last part, you guys, lips. <laughs> I can't go without my lips. <laughs> I'm gonna see, okay, is that too bright? I don't know if that's too bright or not. Uh, well, we'll leave it like that. I think that might be too bright. <laughs> huh. Okay, so I am using lip liner. Um, they don't have names, but this one is 212. So it's a very pretty, like, pinky kind of mauve color. I am like a very strict lip liner girl. Does anyone else like lip liner? <laughs> Give me some hearts, thumbs, if you like your lip liner. <laughs> and I really, really like um, Pharmacy's lip liners. They're pencil, they're not like the crank kind or anything, they're pencil, but they go on really smooth. Cause some pencil liners, you know, it's like, you feel like you're like scraping your lip to get them on there. These are very smooth and very creamy, but they stay in place all day. And I love that. Sorry, I'm like radio silent. You haven't tried the lip liner yet? It's amazing, girl. So I like overline on my lips because I have really puny lips and <laughs> I like my lips to look fuller. Um, but then I feather in just a little bit. It 
So honestly, you could just rock the lip liner itself as a lip color. You don't even have to put a lipstick over it. But um, I really like the color that I'm gonna put on. So, and I like to ombre my lips too. Hi, Laura. You're new here? Well, welcome, girl. Thank you so much for hopping on. Um, I am using pharmacy makeup. Have you heard of it? Thank you, Carly. this color you guys Ugh. okay so that was 212 for the lip liner and then this color I'm using here this is 204 I believe this is called goddess I think this is goddess um, I will I'll have to double check and look but um, I will put a product list on my after picture There's the lip color. <laughs> um, I like it because it kind of goes with the, the sweater here. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna rock with uh, the matte color today. A lot of times I'll put like my lip plumper on there, the gloss, but I think I'm just gonna rock with it matte today. So I appreciate you guys hopping on. And like I said, I only used 11 products and I'll take a picture of it and I'll like post my product list on what everything I use. But give me some hearts if you're like liking any of the tips and tricks that I gave you. Um, also make sure to go check out my YouTube channel. Like I said, um, new video dropping tonight of how I did my Valentine's skull look. So stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, thank you so much for spending so much time with me and letting you let, letting me talk your leg off because I've been like super chatty today. But um, yeah, I think I have lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> um, but yes, I will um, message all of you that asked for um, more info on you know either the the company itself or the makeup or anything like that. I'll shoot you all messages. And yeah, I hope you all have a blessed Sunday and I will talk to you guys. Thank you so much, Kathy. And I'll talk to you guys next video. Okay. Have a great day guys. Bye.